Hello everyone. Today I thought we'd just have a little look at this pretty border that is done in a vintage style and is perfect for this style of cushion cover or blanket, whatever it is you choose to make. Now it's worked using um, multiples of nine. So each little motifs or arch is it, you, you use nine single crochets. Okay, so if you find your edging is slightly out, just adjust your stitches slightly. It doesn't matter if you go over one or two here and there, and then it should all work out fine. Okay, so to start, just join in at an any corner of your, your blanket and pop, because this is the corner going to pop a single crochet in there one in this stitch so that's a total of two three four five six seven eight nine so once whatever blanket you have or thing you would like to go around just make sure you've got um you've worked down the sides and you have a row of single crochets double crochets or whatever and now we've done our nine single crochets this is all done in one so you just turn your work chain three one, two, three, and then do a double crochet. Count one, two, three, four, five along, and do a double crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then a double crochet in exactly the same space. Then chain three, one, two, three, and then you're going to skip three. One, two, three. And that should be your first stitch where you started. And do a slip stitch in there. Then turn your work again. Whichever way you turn it, you might just have to tuck your yarn behind, but that's fine. And do two single crochets in this very first little arch here. And now we're going to do a pico. So chain three, one, two, three, and find your first single crochet, which is just here. That's the top of the stitch. Go under the front loop of that single crochet and under that left vertical leg and just do a slip stitch. And then single crochet in the same space and now in the five chain space, single crochet and another pico. So chain three, one, two, three. And then in the top of the single crochet, in the front loop, and then in the side of the single crochet under that little leg there and do a slip stitch. Then do two single crochets, one, two, and another pico one two three and then under the top of your first single crochet there and that leg and do a slip stitch another two single crochets all in this space and another pico and in the top of the stitch in the side a slip stitch and another single crochet. So you should have a total of three picots in the central part of this arch and just one on the side there. Now we're going to do a single crochet in the next space, a picot, one, two, three chains, 
into the top of the single crochet in the side of the single crochet. Do a slip stitch and then work another two single crochets. One, two. And to finish this off nicely, if you look at this single crochet here, into the top, front loop and the side, another slip stitch. And there's your completed little motif or arch with the picots. Now you just go ahead and you do another nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then chain three, one, two, three. So as we're working back on ourselves now to form the little arches, just turn your work and then skip one, two, three, four, into that fifth one along a double crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five and another double crochet into the same stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, and then skip three, one, two, three, and into there, a slip stitch. Now, if you find your stitch count slightly out, you could always go into here. It really won't matter too much if that's slightly narrower, but just use, do it by eye. As long as you're not too many stitches out, you should be fine. And then turn and again, two single crochets in that first three chain space and another pico. So three chains into the top of your single crochet and the side of the single crochet, do a slip stitch. And then a single crochet, and then a single crochet into the five chain space and pico to the top of the stitch, the single crochet front loop and the side, a slip stitch, two single crochets, one, two, three chains for your pico to the top of the single crochet front stitch and side stitch, a slip stitch, another two single crochets, one, two, Another pico, chain three, and into the top of the single crochet, the front loop and the side, a slip stitch. And now we have a total of three picots. Pop another single crochet in there, and then single crochet in the next three chain space. Chain three for another pico to the front of that single crochet in the side, just under the side loop there, single crochet, and then two single crochets. And to finish this off into that first single crochet under the front loop, and the side with a single, sorry, with a slip stitch. Okay, and then you're ready now again to do your nine single crochets. So count your stitches along before you start and just check if this will be suitable for the edging you have. 
And that's how you make this little edging. I found this in edging in um, an antique pattern and it was originally for lace and it's, it was a slightly different design with a few single crochets here and a pico and then a bigger gap. But for this style blanket, it looked better like this. Another tip, if you've used um, a DK yarn and used a four millimeter hook, for this edging, using the same yarn, go down just half hook size and just check how it is because otherwise it could look a bit too bulky. Right, I hope you've enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.